The plaintiffs for a Massachusetts case against the Attorney General regarding Massachusetts' unconstitutional assault weapon ban has filed for a writ of certiorari at the Supreme Court, and this could affect every state that has an assault weapon ban. Stick by and listen to this. So here in Massachusetts, you can't have an AR-15 after the date that our Attorney General Mara Healey changed the ruling or reinterpreted a law is really a better way of saying it. Um, she banned ARs and AKs and copycats and duplicates overnight. And anything prior to July of 2016 is okay because that's grandfathered, even though she says in her letters that she believes those are also illegally obtained but just hasn't decided to prosecute anybody yet. We're all basically felons in wait. So, Worman v. Healy has made its way through the legal system. She's tried numerous times to get dismissed, and every time she's been rebuffed, thank you. But the last hearing didn't go their way, so they have filed for a writ of certiorari in the United States Supreme Court. Now, you might recall, I just did the video the other day. There's a big case from New York, from the New York Rifle and Pistol Association uh, versus New York City regarding their... Um, circumventing the, the Second Amendment with how they deal with permits. Here, our Attorney General is taking legally owned, commonly owned firearms and deemed them banned, even though the laws on the books <laughs> say you could have them, and they've been sold in the state for 26 years prior to her changing her mind. Now, this case in, in this writ is saying this is a direct violation of the Second Amendment and a direct violation of Supreme Court rulings in District of Columbia versus Heller and McDonald versus Chicago, which are the two biggest uh, Second Amendment cases pretty much ever heard, and this violates all of it. Now, if you're not aware of what happens here in Massachusetts, our Attorney General, who doesn't like me, um, and the feelings mutual, but she like routinely uh, violates the Second Amendment. She is a habitual line stepper uh, when it comes to guns. I'm going to read you a little bit of something here to kind of give you a heads up of, of what's going on. Uh, it says, The petition before the Supreme Court cites uh, what most know. It's that Massachusetts' ban violates the Supreme Court's decision in Heller, which reaffirmed that the government may not ban arms that are typically possessed for lawful purposes like self-defense, which the AR has been for decades. Now, the NRA and the NRA ILA uh, are supporting this case. Not bad here in Massachusetts. Uh, and uh, hopefully, 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 the Supreme Court decides to take this case up. Now, the, one of the plaintiffs in this case is Goal here in Massachusetts. This is the Gun Owners Action League. And uh, they're putting in a lot of work on this case. Now, Jim Wallace, who's the executive director of Goal, who you've seen on this channel before, had this to say. And this is a quote. The importance of this case cannot be overstated. A decision at the Supreme Court recognizing the citizen's right to purchase and possess commonly owned semi-automatic firearms and their magazines will vindicate the rights of gun owners nationwide. And that's right. This case, if overturned, will affect every assault weapon ban and magazine ban in the country. So, fingers crossed, not only for here in my state, but for all the states that have something like this going on. Uh, it's time. I mean, it's time that they get a smackdown that they deserve. Hopefully the uh, Supreme Court does what's right December 2nd when they hear the New York case. And it would be fantastic if they took this case up too. But um, if they do a ruling that's strong enough in the December 2nd case, none of these other cases will matter because they'll all be remanded back to the lower courts and told that the Supreme, you know, the Second Amendment according to the Supreme Court <laughs> really means something. So we can only hope and pray that that happens. But you'll find out here first, and you know that, so please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. My folks, my friends, I need to thank you all for your support. We're over 119,000 subscribers now. <laughs> Amazing. I never even thought I'd have 19 subscribers, and to see where we are as I'm filming this is truly very humbling. Thank you so much. Uh, it means so much, uh, and my family and I are indebted to you. So thank you for your support. Until we see each other again, this is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. Be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon, and subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody.